hi there everyone, I'm Stuart White. I'm the Delivery Optimization Manager at National Grid Electricity Transmission. I'm accountable for delivering all of National Grid's large investment plan, um, probably in the region of about 800 million to 1 billion pounds a year. Planning it within year uh, and five to 10 years out in terms of strategically planning that work and looking to make it as efficient as we can, as well as looking after the capital side of the investments. We also augment that with our maintenance interventions to make sure that our assets um, and the network as a whole is safe, reliable and secure for consumers, customers and stakeholders as well. Each year we undertake about 5,000 interventions on our assets. We take outages um, on the network, which can lead to constraints depending on how we take them, whether that be electrical constraints in the network that result in cost passed through to consumers or constraints in our own staff and other things that go into planning a job. Each year, we take about 5,000 of these interventions across our 60,000 assets. An absolutely massive data problem with such a large solution space and multiple people planning it in different areas. Without having a key asset management tool like C55, we weren't able to get to the right answer, get to it quickly and have real confidence in it. I think a big part for me of any tool that's delivered is its users, then being thought about in the delivery of the tool, then been integrated into even the team, such that, that the output of it is a tool that not only is great functionally, but fit for a purpose for its users. One of the things that I would certainly say about the way this project was delivered by both ourselves and Copperleaf is that it put our future users at the heart of the solution. It meant that not only did Copperleaf have access to our experts, we had access to Copperleafs and together we were able to collaborate and build a tool that's fit for purpose going forward. Not often is this done in IT tools and too often is it the reason that they don't succeed. So coming on finally to some of the benefits that we've had, that we've seen of having such a powerful tool. I'd like to start with the simple ones. I always think um, they can be the best. One of the main things that the Copperleaf C55 tool and the optimizer has done for us is bring a significant amount of information that we use for making decisions in the business all into one place. Information that's useful, easy to, easy to see and displayed very simply. Something that wasn't in many of our other systems. As well as simple benefits, we've seen some really large benefits. We always knew that with such a big solution space, um, that it took us an awful long time to go from, you know, through our asset health processes right through to the committing to a plan. This year, we've seen a 50% reduction in that and expect to be able to go further next year as we've been able to utilize the tool. But we've done more. We've been able to provide more information that's useful to our executive in some of their decision making and understanding of the plan that we've built. We've been able to use the optimizer itself, that big part where we wanted to bundle our outage investments. We've built test case in different area and showed significant efficiencies up to 20, 30 percent on our previous outage plan. We're now at the stage where we're about to go on and implement our first full outage plan using Optimizer and expect to see those benefits across our whole network, leading to increased efficiency, better productivity of staff, more interventions that we're able to do at the right time for the right cost for consumers. During COVID-19, um, I'm sure that many asset management companies um, and transmission electricity companies, you built good plans, you've looked to start to enact them. And the first thing as you moved into what would generally be the main outage year for a lot of us is that we've had to deconstruct them. That deconstruction leads into uncertainty, which leads into people looking to understand the impacts on the business, impact on the network and consumers and customers. One of the things that we've rapidly been able to do 
is use C55 to be able to answer some of those questions. What will it do to network risk? What does it mean if we had so many resources off, which was a big impact of COVID-19? And another big impact of COVID-19 might be the future financial markets and how easy it is to raise debt. So we've also been able to look at some of those financial strategies, things that we wouldn't even have been able to dream of doing in the past. And not only have we been able to do them, we've been able to do them rapidly at a time when, during this uncertainty, people need answers to fulfil that uncertainty and give them a way forward so that business can move forward and make decisions, even at times like these. Thank you.